Hey everybody, this is William from the Godzilla Files, coming at you today with a new countdown video. And today I'm going to be looking at some of the saddest moments in the Godzilla series. So, even though Godzilla is more of an action, adventure, movie series, there are some moments that are actually pretty sad. So, I'm, I'm going to give you my top five saddest moments in the Godzilla series. Number five is Godzilla and Minya from Son of Godzilla. And the part that I'm talking about is the end where they're left on the island and you can see them kind of huddling together and trying to stay warm as the island goes into this deep winter. This is a pretty sad moment. Even though they aren't dying, they are going to hibernate as they say, there is still something about it that's really sad. You know, they finally kind of came together as a family and now they're being frozen. You know, and it's something out of their control. They didn't do anything wrong or anything like that that. So just seeing this is a somewhat downer for an ending of a film. Number four is the death of Godzilla Jr. from Godzilla vs. Destroya. Probably one of the more sadder moments in the Heisei series and partially due to the fact that we've seen Godzilla Jr. grow up throughout this whole entire set of films. So there is some emotional connection and you know it's really earned when you see this death. It is a really sad moment. Godzilla has just reunited with him and Destroya goes about and drops him from the air pretty much instantly killing him. Only for Godzilla to kind of watch his son so to speak breathe his last moment and you do really get this feeling, you know, this feeling of emotion watching Godzilla look at his son. And it's definitely something that it's hard to describe. You know, it's funny that they can show this much emotion with uh, men in suits. So it's definitely a great scene. Number three is Godzilla's death, the end of the return of Godzilla. While this wasn't truly his death, at the time you weren't really sure one way or another. So this did make the scene pretty sad just from that point of view. But talking more about it, you know, when you look at it, you follow him all the way to the volcano. And, you know, it takes a few moments for him to step into the volcano. But when he does, the whole entire scene switches over. There isn't some, you know, really big triumphant score. It is actually truly considered a sad moment in the movie. And the music in this scene is played for that and you know hearing Godzilla screech at the end while he's in the volcano is truly depressing in my opinion it's definitely a scream that you hadn't heard from that Godzilla yet so it sounded very painful and every everyone else even the human characters are very emotional while they watch this as well so this all adds to such a great scene in my opinion Number two is a woman with her children in the original Godzilla film. This scene comes during the destruction of Tokyo, where Godzilla is kind of rampaging through, and you see this woman holding her children, telling them that they're going to be with their dad soon. And it's a really emotional part of this film. The original film was so serious, so dark, and it really does show you like what kind of horrible you know situation they must have been in for all this happening. And the fact that they kind of cut to this one person with her with her children, it just hammers home the utter devastation that's going on around them and how you're probably not going to survive this at all. And it's just truly uh, an emotional scene. And number one is Godzilla's Meltdown from Godzilla vs. Destroya. As many people know, this is probably one of the saddest scenes throughout the whole entire uh, fandom. And it's done truly well. I mean, at this point, there's been so many Godzilla films, and he's been built up in so many different ways as a character. He means so much to so many people. So that when he does die, it is a pretty sad death. And, you know, you can almost compare it to things like Death of Superman or, you know, any other important icon dying. And, you know, so it does hold a lot of weight. And the fact that it is done so well in the sense that, you know, it is really about him. The music, the animation, everything is done top notch in my opinion. And it really is a great send off for this Godzilla and for the Godzilla series up until that point. All right, everybody, let me know in the comments below some of your top choices for the saddest scenes in the Godzilla series. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video, and I will talk to you all later.